The Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. And again, I'm trying to keep my first finger super, super light here. And this is going to be a constant battle. to crunch in. I think it's kind of like if you want to try to get your intonation perfect, you can kind of press down a little too hard. You know, maybe it's a perfectionism thing. I have no clue. But I noticed that with the first, especially with the first and second finger half step moving around, it can really, really kind of crunch down. machine? I have no clue, but I was reading on John Leary that they actually send microwaves up into the atmosphere to create these fake weather events. They can actually create tornadoes, and I'm wondering if some of those tornadoes in Texas have had something to do with that. Like me, you're going to be pushing your bow out. So it's going to seem like the two points are converging. It's going to seem like your bow is heading towards your finger that's going towards it. See how that... you're in kindergarten all over again. I'm just going to warm my hands up here. So as we know, they're always being cold. So. Yeah, if you go on that John Leary dot com, they have a search, and you can search like they had a whole thing on the balloons from China. They had a whole thing on, on the chemtrails and how they're putting disease in the chemtrails now. They have and I've seen like 20 chemtrails in one day over over this uh, place. And it seems like they're just, uh, you know, marking their 
Anyway. Oh yeah, and you can put a heart machine in there. You can put, you know, you can just do the search and it'll bring up all the messages related to that. And even if they're even a decade old, it's still really interesting stuff. You know? I'll think, you know, Jesus, his relationship with John Leary is almost that of a scientist slash finance finance advisor. It's really interesting. It's a really beautiful relationship. And also informant from above, you know, government informant. CIA or FBI agent from above. I mean, our lady and our Lord are the best CIA agents the U.S. could ever have, right? Because you know they're never going to deceive us. decades ago through Bayside as, you know, CIA agents from above were warning us of all these things. about having my bow going this way while my fingers coming up because it gives that extra optical illusion and maybe even reality that the, they're, the two are converging, you know. You don't want to get off track with your bow. Because you might get a scratchy sound. I mean, it's not a big deal, but you kind of want to try to keep it, you know, machine or something. Of it, the frog, and then after doing it for so long, I just kind of wear out. 
you know, especially the end runs, you have these bow crossings, and you're going, and you're actually getting more up on a, uh, towards the frog, you know. of Pope Benedict. I never knew how much uh, high masses he did and how much he loved the high mass. They always covered it up in the media. But there's this one station and uh, it's like antique war or something, but this person posts all these and it's from a, an Italian person. They post all this uh, masses of Pope Benedict and, and with an Italian, you know, uh, guide, I guess you'd say. And it's just wonderful, and all these beautiful Italian singers. And it's just a shame that what happens to all these beautiful artwork when you bring in the modernists? I mean, where, where do these people work, you know? That's a question for Maestro Porfiri and uh, Marco Tassotti in Rome, you know. What happens to all these people? They probably have to join uh, Maestro's... <laughs> Maestro's army there, you know. And Maestro Porfiri, has got books out and everything. It's just so wonderful to see the Italians and how much they produce in artwork. They're so gifted in that way. It's such a shame that, that the Vatican doesn't appreciate that. It's right around the core. I mean, it's right in the center of, of it, you know. I don't even think they can work there anymore because of, you know, religion or, you know, stuff I can't even say or the video will come down, you know? Okay. Archbishop Vigano goes as far as to say he thinks we're in a sede vacantis state now in the church because our Pope isn't, you know, he's not doing his job and he's like I said, the edicts that I can't even mention or this video come down, the edicts they have uh, enforced on the Swiss guards and all the other people, you know. I'm just going to take a slight break here.